This is the Thwaites Glacier. It's located here, in Mary Birdland, the largest unclaimed territory on Earth in Antarctica. Like many glaciers around the world, the Thwaites Glacier has lost rather large quantities of ice over the decades due to increasing temperatures as a result of global warming. But unlike most other glaciers, Thwaites poses a very unique risk that could have ripple effects around the world. In 2021, a study was published that suggested that the Thwaites Ice Shelf, the portion of ice that restrains the eastern portions of the glacier, may begin to collapse within the next five years. At first, to the unknowing bystander, this may not seem too worrying. But to really get a big picture on just how big of a deal this really is, you have to take into account the glacier's size. The Thwaites Glacier comes in at a staggering 74,000 square miles in size, roughly the size of the state of Florida, making it one of the largest glaciers in all of Antarctica. If the ice shelf that restrains the glacier gives out, that would allow for faster flow of upstream ice into the ocean, where it would then melt, contributing to sea level rise by as much as 26 inches or 66 centimeters over the course of the next century. The situation has been described as daunting and worrisome by some scientists and researchers, both on the ground in Antarctica and abroad. In 2018, a five-year international collaboration between UK and US scientists to study the Thwaites Glacier was created. This collaboration is meant to study the glacier and get a better understanding of it, the threat it poses, and the environment around it. In 2020, researchers from the International Thwaites Glacier Collaboration began to develop scenarios for the glacier's future in an attempt to predict the time frame for a possible ice shelf collapse. They'd found that the warm ocean waters from the Amundsen Sea seemed to be stronger than expected, resulting in increased erosion of the glacier. Notably, they discovered that the water temperature at the glacier's baseline was already above freezing, a very surprising and worrisome discovery. They confirm that the melting of the ice is contributing to 4% of global sea level rise. Due to this, the glacier has been labeled as the biggest threat for sea level rise this century by many, including the Cooperative Institute for Research and Environmental Sciences at the University of Colorado Boulder, or Ceres, who, in December 2021, stated that if the glacier collapses, global sea levels would rise by several feet, putting millions of people in coastal cities in danger for extreme flooding. However, it is important to note that, as stated previously, these effects would take upwards of a century to fully occur, per scientists. This means that we still have time to make an attempt to curtail these catastrophic possibilities. If the world were to cease all greenhouse gas emitting activities that have driven the climate change that has caused the degradation of the glacier, that would still do nothing to give the Thwaites Glacier the stability it needs. This is why some have come up with the crazy idea to physically stabilize the ice sheets ourselves. This will require what some describe as glacier geoengineering. John Moore, a glaciologist and professor at the Arctic Center at the University of Lapland in Finland, and others have spearheaded a plan that lays forth several ways humans could intervene to preserve not only the Thwaites Glacier, but other important glaciers around the world. One such way to preserve the glacier that was laid forth in the plan was the idea that we could build artificial braces or other structures to help stabilize the decaying ice sheet and prevent it from collapsing. To do this, the world would need to collaborate as one and collectively partake in polar megaprojects that through extensive work could significantly reduce the danger of sea level rise that would affect every low-lying coastal nation on Earth. Of course, however, these megaprojects are only a dream. There are many engineering, legal, logistical, diplomatic, and financial hurdles that would need to be jumped over before such a project could even begin. Another suggested polar mega project suggested in an effort to decrease the possible financial consequences of its construction is the installation of what has been referred to as seabed anchored curtains. Flexible sheets made of geotextiles that would be buoyant and be able to redirect warm water and prevent it from further eroding the glaciers. This scenario would perhaps allow the Thwaites Glacier to thicken and to stabilize itself once more over the course of many decades. These ideas, however, have seen lots of criticism as well, with many fellow scientists describing them simply as temporary fixes to a problem that will never be solved. 
Still, many of the world's greatest scientists and climatologists continue to research and think of ways to prevent the so-called Doomsday Glacier from bringing forth the doom that its nickname may suggest. In the meantime, we look on and hope that somehow, someday, we can find a way to prevent the worst from happening. Thank you.